Hello guys and welcome back, I'm Corrado Coco, music producer and certified Bitwig trainer and today we're going further discovering Bitwig 4.1. Let's get started. I've got a simple uh, instance of Polygrid and yeah, I type just a note here and yeah. So um, I'll put a mixer here and I'll change this so uh, wave and la now duplicate this and it maybe four so oscillators so I'll make um, a pad sound now and yeah. Perfect. Um, okay, so now I put a macro control, um, and of course, I need to change. Uh, sorry, I need to change a little bit a pitch offset. Um, yeah, just to create some detuning effect. So let's listen to this. Okay, and now hmm, a sine wave oscillator for the lowest part of the spectrum. Uh, yeah, mm, I put a blend, and of course, yeah, I I think it's better here, and I'll blend. Um, from the lowest part here and the other part here and the important thing of course is low pass filter here so now uh, we have um, an interesting sound um, yeah, let's take uh, randomize and yeah, of course, um, I activate pitch uh, interrupter because uh, I want to make some different notes, some different pitch. Yeah, of course, um, I can uh, connect this uh, to the pitch knob in order to create vibrato, but uh, I'll show you in a bit. Now, um, I take uh, a multi note effect and I create some uh, chords. Of course, uh, I need to switch my uh, instance of polygrid in a polyphonic way. Okay, and of course, I can change. I can keep different chants per notes here. Uh, and of course, different spread um, so as you know, the spread is in terms, this spread is in terms of velocity. Um, I have explained it in a previous, my tutorial, and yes, I remind you to watch them. Of course, we can uh, put our K note, K filter, um, and with this one, uh, we can choose a special um, scale and uh, hold the chords now that are uh, making, um, that are made 
by a multi node um, are within a E major scale. Okay, um, I'll put another randomize. So, uh, what can I do? Um, yeah, I change pressure uh, for each node, and um, of course, with different pressure, uh, I can um, activate in different ways uh, this vibrato effect. And now I'll connect this vibrato to pitch knob. So now uh, I've got some chords within E major scale. So now we need some reverb. can switch in a poly way our vibrato effect So, and now um, I'll put a ricochet here uh, and I'll make some different uh, movement in terms of panning and in terms of timber. So now I'm getting a different behavior uh, for each note that comes from multi note and all those notes, uh, of course, um, they will be uh, retriggered here fr from ricochet. And now we change the panning and the timber of the sound. So I can, I can connect timber um, and I can modulate something with this timber effect, this timber uh, information. Okay, now, so I'll group those and yeah, um, now I'll get um, 
another stance of polygrid because um, I won't make some uh, melody and I can get the same note uh, from this main part so um, this is my main part and now I can put for example a strum here uh, and yeah this helps me to get some arpeggios, some strums from uh, the chords that are comes from my multi-node. Yes, of course, I need to uh, switch my polygrid in a polyphonic way. I get some delay here. Yeah, uh, now I make another um, another instance of polygrid so um, I can call this one a path channel this one melody one and this one melody two So here um, I put a mixer and some sine oscillators for oscillators. So um, as I told you before, I get some notes from this main part with randomized multi-note key filter and another randomize at the end. And now with the macro, I make some difference, some spread in terms of um, the numerator here in those oscillators so by doing this I get some different um, different behaviors for each oscillator so different contents So here we can put a strum, again another strum, and we can switch those, we can switch this one in a polyphonic. So let's switch a dotted 16th note, maybe, or 32 note, maybe, yeah. Now, um, yeah, let's go ahead and grab a um, note repeat. So, um, because now, with note repeats, I repeat uh, the notes that comes from strum here. So, I put some, um, some, um, shans here. And so, why not another oscillator, maybe a triangle oscillator uh, with another 
envelope here black envelope and of course we can blend those here so and let's switch this one an octave above so let's get some delay here some longer delay Of course, we can uh, modulate um, as we did before here. The pitch, we can create some vibrato here. And yeah, we can switch this. We can get pressure values and we can switch in polyphonic way. difference between holding this corona value or not Okay guys, thank you for watching, I remind you this and some uh, stuff are available on my Patreon and I remind you don't forget to subscribe to my channel, bye, see you next time.